Hey, good morning, uh, YouTube and Facebook. Um, I want to throw together a little uh, kind of inspirational thought and summary of uh, my last week here. I uh, spent the week down Lincoln with Chad, and many of you guys have been following him, and uh, his wife was in, in court doing her legal practice, and had the opportunity to uh, to be with them and, and really be alone. And it's really been the first real time to have, you know, guy time, if you will. And, man, this week was just uh, inspirational, to say the least, to uh, to be through that process with him. And and then just to feel the brokenness myself. Uh, I don't think I've really faced it or dealt, it, dealt with it, you know, through this whole time. Uh, just trying to be strong. And... What I'd, what I'd, I guess I'd like to share that's just awesome is, you know, I have no experience in, in this world of, uh, you know, helping somebody like this or whatnot, let alone, you know, my best friend. And it was, uh, it, it was, it was crazy just to go to that house at night. Uh, Roseanne rents this house, right? And God, the cost involved in all this is just insane too. And man, that was a lonely prison. That was just, uh, you know, it was just so difficult to be in there and to not not feel like I had a clue of what to do. So, you know, I did what I, I do best or whatnot is I turned to YouTube and tried to get education or trying to figure this out. So some of the stuff I looked at was uh, how to help TBI patients. And I've been one. I've been there. So where Chad is to where he can't talk and uh, talk much. Um, I've been in that exact position, not to this length of time, but I know how scary it is. So I was able to relate to him on that. And one of the conversations we were having, I felt like he was getting close and talking a little more. And he would whisper, you know, just these partial sentences. And I, I didn't know if it was painful, like physically painful or emotionally. And uh, more than anything, Chad was able to convey that um, it's painful mentally. I mean, the words are just trapped right here. And then, uh, so after watching some YouTube stuff, um, I was uh, just seeing all these success stories, which are really inspirational. So thank you to the world. And I hope that this video helps someone else, helps someone else that's hurting or uh, just doesn't know what to do as a friend or a family member or whatnot. So thank you, YouTube. Love it. Uh, a lot of great uh, inspirational stuff on here. But then as I, I kind of went around to something I already do and, and really been trying to get back to, and that's trying to get back to me. I've really lost myself in the last couple of years of uh, anger and bitterness and whatnot. And I think Facebook and social media plays a huge part in that. There's so much negativity out there. It's just really easy to uh, to gravitate towards that. And I want to be away from that. That's not what I want to be about. So I'm not going to talk about shootings or killings or, or uh, racist stuff or politics or anything else. I want to think about you know how to make our lives better in a really reasonable fashion that we can. So one of the other things I was looking at, uh, and I've been telling Chad all week, man, you got to dream about your you know, healing. you got to think about it. you got to visualize it all this. I found all these other, uh, you know, a million videos, how to dream yourself to healing and, and all. And I believe it. I believe it. And a lot of the success stories of other people, it was all about attitude. Attitude was the whole difference. Chad and I talked a lot this week about attitude, you know. He already had a good foundation because of who he was as a person, which makes his, his strength... Uh, already so much higher towards success because he was already a person that uh, uh, would fight, right? Fight to get better. So watching him all week, I'll post a few videos and, and pictures and stuff too. Watched him really pedal on a bike and start to push with that left leg himself, himself and it was awesome. But here's where the here's where the gift and here's what really this video is about is that I... Uh, I was sitting there and, you know, preaching to him, if you will, oh, come on, buddy, you know, and we'd be in physical therapy and, and uh, they were having him toss these rings. And I was like, you know, stop, Chad, think about why you have to strengthen that hand. You need to pull the clutch of a motorcycle. You need to shoot your gun. You need to go fishing, you know, right? You should see his face. I started to see this smile light up and then he started to really reach and he started to, you know, uh, quit fading off, you know, and physical therapists there are just absolutely amazing at Madonna, no doubt about it. But uh, I really understand uh, and just how grateful I am that Roseanne's able to be there with him so much and really encourage him from that love. You know, I joked with him, think about making, you know, making love to your wife, you know, think about everything, you know. Uh, and I kept seeing these smiles come on Chad's face, which was amazing. There were great pictures of him last night, just grinning up, uh, grinning up the room. But so here's what happened. I, uh, I get home Thursday night and I'm just so exhausted. 
Um, especially want to thank Carrie and her husband too for uh, taking me to dinner and uh, I'll post some pictures of that. That was absolutely awesome too. Uh, Carrie and Corey Vondrak, I mean, amazing people. Uh, uh, and then Ben and the guys at Ducati Omaha. It was great to meet you too, by the way. But So here's the thing. I'm just exhausted beyond reason and I finally get some sleep. And in my sleep comes my own dream uh, that I couldn't wait to share with Chad the next morning. That was this. So I, uh, in my dream, I'm in my shop and I'm working like I always do. And all of a sudden there's a knock at the door and I open it and it's Chad standing there. And Roseanne's pulling away and, hey boys, have a fun day. And I'm just like, what are you doing? No, I'm working. Like, whoa, wait a second here. And in my dream, Chad's not fully recovered. I know this for some reason. I'm not 100% sure why, but he's, but he's much further along than he is now. So, uh, he, she pulls off and pulls away and I'm like, wow, I got a full day. I got a full schedule. And he looks at me and he says, did you forget about our, our day? And I said, well, what, what are you talking about? He goes, we were, we're going fishing. And I said, no. And he goes, you work too much. And it was just that realization. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's the way it's always been. It's the thing that needs to change, right? You got to, you know, schedule and have fun with that fun time. So I say, okay, you know what? All right, let's go. So I, I go in the house and I get ready. And I remember this is a dream and I can't wait to make true. But uh, I come out and here's Chad sitting in my Ural. I have this uh, motor, Russian motorcycle with a sidecar. It's two wheel drive. It's way cool. Uh, I got reverse. Pretty neat. And uh, there's Chad sitting in it. I'm like, oh, my sh shit, you're sitting. You got in that by yourself, and he's got fish and pole strapped to the bike. He's like, come on, come on, let's go. So we go out to old uh, stomping grounds here that my old pal Keith K showed us out in uh, Mobile Farm Ponds. And we get out. We're fishing all fast forward. Uh, no giant fish in this dream, by the way. So it was pretty realistic. <laughs> and uh, I'm down on this embankment, and we're wrapping up the day, and Chad climbs up the hill, climbs up the hill. So visualization is so important. So next thing I know is I, I get up the hill. And what do you see? I see Chad on the motorcycle uh, signaling for me to get in the sidecar. So there it is. We end up uh, driving away and we drive back to the house and I wake up. And I was just so happy. So happy. And so I think I need to do more as a as a motivator, you know, when someone that's going through this time, make sure that we're visualizing that healing. We're visualizing that success. I talked to his wife about getting some pictures of him, doing the things he loves, fishing, shooting, pictures of those two together, whatnot, and blow them up and get them so that they're right in front of his bed where he can't help but look at them every day and, and just keep looking forward to that. I laid next to, to Chad on the on the floor there uh the day when i left and i was able to share this story with him and he said that's cool and he just got this huge smile on his face he didn't even get to test ride my ural before so he's gonna when he gets out but um man he's there guys he's there so what a week uh chad you continue to inspire me on what it means to be strong and what it means to not give up and I love you, bro, and I uh, thank you, everybody, for everything you've done to help uh, help me through this time as well. So my uh, ending thoughts, I guess, I'm kind of starting to st uh, stutter, is uh, just go out and make it an awesome day for someone else, too. All right, be awesome.